The first traditional vaccine was developed around the year 1800. This led to many more vaccines being developed thereafter, saving millions of lives. And the way these traditional vaccines have worked is either using a weakened form of the virus or bacteria, or a inactivated form of the virus or bacteria. You can think of these vaccines such as those used for measles, mumps, and rubella, or for chickenpox. When these vaccines enter our human bodies, they tell our immune system, composed of B and T cells, to destroy this foreign material, remember what it looked like, and then be on the lookout for any future infections. Now the mRNA vaccines designed for SARS-CoV-2 have changed this technology a bit. They looked at the entire genetic material of this virus. They found the single instructions or mRNA that encode for one protein and decided to use that mRNA or instructions as part of the vaccine. When these instructions enter our cells, our own cells then make a protein and then elicit the same immune response. They will destroy this protein, remember what it looks like, and then be on the lookout for any future infections. Now, if we look at traditional vaccines in the context of a new cuisine, you can think of this like you're getting a bunch of new foods that you've never had before. Then a week later or a month later, you also see this food again. You're then able to connect that that food is part of this new cuisine that you just tried. With mRNA vaccines, however, we're only given a portion of the recipe. We have to use our own ingredients in order to make some of this food that's part of this new cuisine. So a week later or a month later, when you see this food out, you're able to connect still that that food is part of this new cuisine that you've never tried before. That's exactly how our immune system works, is it's able to recognize a new pathogen, destroy it, and then be on the lookout for the future to keep us healthy.